Hi, this is James Hardiman of uh, HeyJamesHowDoI.com and today we're going to have a look at how to investigate and fix up and get going and all things the Mendel Parts version 9 hot end. And if you've ordered it complete, this is how it comes, um, but it may have a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to completely dismantle this. If you've had some problems, you may have to completely dismantle it put it back together again. So I'm going to take this apart, put it back together again, uh, show you that process and then in a separate video we're actually going to put the heater in the hole there and the thermistor in and do all the wiring up and that sort of stuff. So first thing we're going to do is undo this protective cap and make sure that we've got everything that we need and everything we need is the heated block um, and the extra brass uh, M6 brass nut that comes with it and we, at one stage we do need two brass nuts but we'll make use of the one that's down here and uh, you need some 10 millimeter spanners as we call them in English or wrenches as you call them in, in America uh, and a ring and an open ended is good but you will actually need two um, You'll possibly need some of these wrenches. You will need some of these wrenches. Um, I call them swan neck pliers, but I believe other people call them uh, water pump wrenches. And you'll need a 2mm, if you're using the 1.75mm uh, filament head, you'll need a 2mm extra long drill. If you're doing a 3mm filament head, then you will need this, uh, this is 3.2 millimeter extra long drill, but that's not what I'm doing today. And um, you can get these extra long drills from Mendel Parts, but you can also get them off of eBay. So let's put that on one side for a moment. Oh, and you'll need something to turn the drill around with, and that's more than adequate. So the first thing we're going to do is take this apart and see how it works. And I'm just going to simply I'll use the small ones. Hold the heater block and I'm going to use the ring spanner to first of all take off the nozzle. And put that on one side for a moment and <clears throat> use the other pair of pliers holding the middle peak block, take hold of the top peak block and undo it. Take it all the way off. Sorry about this, takes a little while. A few come. And then <coughs> holding the heater block again, take the spanner and just loosen up, wrong end of the spanner, loosen up this nut. And once that's loose, then we'll be able to take off the heater block. Put it on one side, take off the brass nut. And before we get the brass nut all the way off, we just leave it at the end. And I'm just going to slack off this bottom peak lock piece. And to really illustrate the whole thing, I want to take these brass pieces out of the central peak. It may be that by finger strength they will come out. Um, and if they do, therein is part of the problem. The bottom one doesn't. So what I will do is I will put two brass nuts on together and put a spanner on that one and put the ring spanner on and lock them together. So I'm locking them together and then I can just use, let's hold that middle piece of peak and using the ring spanner now I can undo the brass rod out of the middle piece of peak and I won't actually take these lock nuts off because I'm going to use them again straight away. In fact I wouldn't even take this piece of peak off. So <clears throat> these two pieces of brass rod are different. Um, one of them is, oh no, they're exactly the same length but the top one 
is pointed at one end and concave at the other. That's the end that the filament is going to go into, the concave end, whereas the bottom one is pointed at both ends. And the first thing that we're going to do is screw this in. And if we look in here, if you can see inside, that this is threaded, but in the middle, the peak sort of sticks in so it doesn't go straight all the way through. And we're going to screw this in up to that heat barrier. That's what that's all about. And that's it finger tight, but then we need to get it better than finger tight. So we're going to put this on and using the ring spanner on the top nut here, we're going to tighten this up so that it's reasonably tight. Now, don't put huge amount of force in it because you'll strip the thread. But <clears throat> you have to bear in mind that hot plastic is going to be squeezed down here. It's going to be on quite a lot of pressure and we don't want it to leak there, which is the problem that's quite, quite a few have had. But once that's done it reasonably tight, then you can do the bottom piece of lock peak up and put on the extra wrench and do that up reasonably tight too. Having done that, we're now going to take both of these nuts off. Like, come up. It's a bit of a fiddle. So as soon as we've loosened one up, we can take them both off. And we're going to put the other piece in, pointy end in, not concave end in. So that goes into there. And then we put on both nuts. And lock them into place. Reasonably tight. And then we can use this holding the piece of peak in the middle to tighten that in again reasonably tight but be careful not to strip the threads and then we can slack off the lock nut move both these brass nuts and put on the top peak block And using the pipe wrenches, we can tighten that into place. So far, so good. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that this is completely smooth all the way through. And the way we do that is using the long drill. Uh, with our drill set to drill rather than screwdriver or hammer and on high speed. Oh, it'd be quite good if I had a battery on my drill. Set it to charge overnight, which was a clever thing to do. Yeah, do it up tight, spin it just to make sure it's in straight. And starting first of all from the top, and when you get to the middle, you can kind of feel that you've got to the middle. And clean that out. And you probably can't see, but on my bench here, the little bits of brass and little bits of peak have appeared. Go in the other end, carefully. And start again at the top end. And if you have access to an engineering works, it would be good to use a, an airline to blow that clear. But I don't, so I've just used my lungs to blow it clear, and it looks reasonably clear now. Okay, <clears throat> so having made sure that that's nice and clean, what we're now going to do is to put on one brass nut on the bottom, and screw it a fair way up, and then screw the heater block a fair way up. And this brass nut is a lock nut to lock against the heater block. Now, you may have some beautifully 
made um, heater blocks from China which are absolutely perfect or you may have some handmade ones like these that are less than perfect but it, either way it doesn't matter hold the heater block carefully and use the spanner to get on oh it, I'm too close to the peak so I need to come down just a little bit so that I can let me just check will the spanner go on yes it will so now I can hold the heater block carefully and tighten the nut down onto the heater block so those are locked together and now I can put the nozzle on but now here's an important thing when you're doing the nozzle up you don't do not hold the heater block what you do is you hold the nut oh, use this one <clears throat> and then use the ring spanner to tighten the nozzle and that's it all nice and snug this brass snug into there and then that tightened up the bottom brass snug into there that tightened up this locked onto the brass uh, heater block and that locked against this nut that's it